Said tonight won an Emmy Award for her work on China Beach. She currently plays Catherine Willows on the new CBS hit drama, CSI Crime Scene Investigators. So you used to work at the French Palace, huh? That's right. You know, my friends and I used to go there. Really? Payday Fridays. Uh-huh. Maybe I saw you perform. Oh, I doubt it. Why? You would have remembered. This is Mark Helgenberg. You you're Thank a nice you. lady. Why yes, you, you said that in the monologue. Why are you in this business? You're too nice. <laughs> you're not the first person who said that to yeah. me. Where are you from? I'm from a small town in Nebraska. See? That's the Midwest, right? It is the Midwest. Yeah. It's a tiny town. You're from the Midwest, too, Minnesota, right? Minnesota. Small yes. town. Nestle, Hastings. Nestled on the Mississippi. How big is your town? 12,000. Mine's 1,200. Oh, boy. I'm even smaller. Um, on the Hastings River? No, on the Mississippi River. Hastings on the Mississippi River. Oh, okay. I'm on the Platte River. Ooh. My hometown is. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's, my, Mississippi's bigger than Platte. Much. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But you're a nice lady. And I'm, I'm happy oh. because you're helping out the Friday nights on CBS. That show's a hit. Huh? It is a hit. I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. And it, uh, that was, it was not predicted. CSI, no. it was not predicted. We were hoping, but it's actually, it's really a big, big show now. Right. We were the underdog. Mm -hmm. They were putting their money on other programs. But, uh... <laughs> Why do you think the people groove on it so much? Well, you know, I think people seem to, America seems to like crime solving. Mm -hmm. And um, this, I think, has got a different twist to it. It's, you know, forensics. And it's uh, people of all ages seem to gravitate yeah. to the show because it's a puzzle. It's kind of Sherlock Holmes for 2000. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's stylish and moody. And, you know, it's got all the things, all the elements that people, that today's audiences want. I thought know? Buddy Farrell, this was, I thought this was going to be the big hit, Buddy Farrell, a few years ago. Oh, Did with Dennis uh, Farina. Farina. Oh, yeah. I know. He's so cool. But this is the one. And someone on the show, on your show, plays a former stripper. Yes, that would be me. Yep, see? There it is. Give a big round of applause. There's just something. Here, here it is. And let me, no. I just want to say this, and, and I hope this comes out the right way. There's something exciting to know that a woman maybe was a former stripper. You know, that she settled down now, but when she had to, yeah. <laughs> She, she would dance and she'd do that. So when I watched the show, I go, she used to take it off. <laughs> Is that what I'm supposed to be thinking when I watch? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what exactly do you guys do? How do you, you, you guys get weird little clues at the crime scene or what? Just really small clues, right? Yeah, well, the, what did we do the other night? Friday night was our last night before we wrapped for the holiday season. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> one of the clues was condensation on the windshield of a car. There was a, some person mm. was shot in the back of the head. The condensation ended up being mucus, nasal mucus, mm. which we, had, we traced back to somebody who had a cold, and that's how we kind of nailed the guy. <laughs> Wow. Nasal mucus. I know what condensation mm -hmm. is. That's exciting. They used to, some, sometimes on a, sometimes they, they'd cancel a basketball game because the, the floor has condensation from the ice, the ice hockey underneath the, the, the isn't that exciting? They would cancel the whole basketball game? Yeah, there that? was condensation to have to cancel the game. Oh, when well, you used to play basketball, right? Yeah, isn't yeah. that, see how it all comes together? Always back to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As it should. No. I actually heard something about you. I, I interview a lot of people, but th this kind of jumped out. Right. What? Marg, not Marge, because you hate Marge, right? It's well, Marg. it's ma not my name. Right. So, but do you... But do <laughs> it's you, Mary Marg is my do you hate, full name. Do you hate Marge? Well, I don't, wouldn't say I hate it. I what's, just, because it's What's not, the name of your production company? Don't call me Marge. Okay. <laughs> but that's just because it's been mispronounced so many right. times that it's just, I kind of get um, my... This is what Get I want. Out that this way. is the info though that I heard that has nothing to do with your name. Mm -hmm. They say that Marg, you, yeah, you know how to throw a good party. Well, and there I are keys, actually though, do. Too. And, and I actually do. My husband says Margay gives good party. Mm. And um... <laughs> Sorry, like I, I have a feeling these people in this crowd love a good party too. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
But what, well, you know, you got to set a mood. That's the key, setting a mood. It's not yeah. about just necessarily the alcohol. It's about setting <laughs> the mood. How does one set the Imbibing mood? Imbibing helps. Right. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the lighting needs to be a little dimmer. And sconces, candles, sometimes aromatherapy candles, good music, good tunes. I'm saying music. I don't know about, the, some. yes, the candles, you're right, but you don't uh -huh. want to get too feminine. You want it to be... No, no, no. no how about no. incense? Is that okay? Incense is cool, too. That's probably yeah. a little more masculine than, than candles. I'm thinking. I don't know. How about weed? <laughs> That's my mistake. That's my mistake. I don't know why I said that. That's wrong. That's so wrong. Way too hard, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> oh, what does that mean? That means it's. Does that mean it's a given? It means I'm laughing. It means it's a given. <laughs> now you throw a good party. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm out um, of control. <laughs> can we? Um, let's get professional. Let's get professional. Okay. Because I actually want to. <laughs> I want to put you on the spot. All I right. want you to solve a crime, right here. I'm going to give you some right. clues from the crime scene. What are you, a big pothead? Why are you laughing? <laughs> what, is going on here? what is the story with Mark? I said, I'm a mother. <laughs> something's going on here. I'm sorry, I just got the giggles. I guess so. You caught me off guard. I got the giggles. Okay. Right, let's solve this crime. Damn right. Can I have a cocktail first, though? <laughs> we do have the vodka over there. Um, Okay, here's what we have. Todd is dead. Todd, okay. our prop master, is dead. I oh, think we have a, there he is. He's I'm dead. <laughs> this is the crime scene. There was a Liberace book at the scene, our very popular Liberace book, and there was also a bag of Cheetos. <laughs> what time did this happen? Let's see. Let's see what the clock says. What time did this happen? This happened 23 hours, 42 minutes, 18 seconds before Dido appears. Okay. Uh, now we're going to line up the suspects, and you're going to say, of these three guys, who committed the crime of knocking off Todd Bartell? Okay. Is it this kid right here, Dave Nickel? Is it Rob Crab? Or is it Opus? Well, one of well, these guys... You know, Opus, Opus looks to be the most obvious one because mm -hmm. he's obviously got day glow, you know, the day glow Cheetos thing going mm -hmm. on around his mouth. But you know what? I, I think Dave looks kind of suspicious. This guy right here? Yeah, Dave. Is I, that... think, I think yeah. Dave... Well, look at him. He's like completely stone-faced. Did you say stoned again? What are you talking about? <laughs> what is going on here? Mom. I said stone-faced. Oh. Let it go, okay? You'll be out of here in 20 minutes. You can go do whatever you have to do. I think Dave, I think Dave's the guilty party. Oh my God, I think that Dave perhaps gave the Liberace book to Opus. No, wait, Opus is the one with the Cheetos. Right, right. Like, You're right, though, if you say it's Dave. It is Dave. He, he clobbered him. Here are the stills. Let's see. He clobbered Todd, and then he gave the, uh, yeah, he gave the Cheetos to Opus. You're absolutely right. It was Dave. He's a klutz. He's a klutz. He just was shoving him in his mouth. Stay I guess, with us. Like Five so. questions when we come back. CSI, and it's time for five questions. Here we go. We start with geography. What's my least favorite New England state? Rhode Island. Mm, no, it's actually New Hampshire. Oh. It's a tough one. Okay. We started Sorry. off tough. All right. Which, right. which name is more like yours? Carl Mecklenburg, used to play football, or Brent Musburger? Carl Mecklenburg. That is correct, Carl Mecklenburg. Yeah. Name any kind of sausage. Polish. That's correct. <laughs> I've written down a number between one and 20. Within five, 
What number is it? Within five, a number between one and 20. 13. 13. Oh, bingo. Just got it. That's an oh. eight. That's kind of fun. Uh, this is for a very good score of four out of five. Finally, give us your three favorite nicknames. I know this is a big topic of yours. Give us your three favorite nicknames for the weed. For the weed. <coughs> for the weed. No help. No help. No help. Ganja. Ganja. Doobie. Doobie. <laughs> and uh, Fatty. Fatty. Yeah, we'll take that. They just roll off the tongue. They just roll off the tongue. It was a pleasure oh, meeting God. you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> it's our little secret. Don't worry. No one yeah. will know about it, okay? Perhaps my mother shouldn't tune in for this, this, no, this evening's performance. No, it's just talking about the grass and all that kind of... Mowing the lawn, Graham. Yeah, okay. A big hand for Mark Helgenberg. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>